driving around thinking about what I learned today in church because I was forced to go to church as a kid and, and when you force somebody to do something only smart people are aware of this but when you force some somebody to do something that they don't want to do all it's going to do is make them hate that thing that much more so if you're a smart person and you want them to hate that thing which might have actually been the whole entire point then you force it if you want them to enjoy it or get something out of it then you set it up to where they can do so you know for example the part I hated the most when I was a kid going to church was the sermon uh, like I could almost deal with all the church the, the music and all that stuff that went around it but when it came time for the 20 minute sermon or whatever oh it was just torment and I built it up so much to myself that it was even worse when my mother could actually have used that as a really great lesson she missed many but she could have actually talked to me about the sermon, made me excited about whatever it was he was saying, made it clearer, child, child proof, I don't know, whatever. Because today, can I help you? You're a dick, you drive like a dick, I have you on tape. Say hi, hi. <laughs> now you're interrupting my video, I'm trying to talk to myself. Thanks. So anyway, today was the first day I ever got up, got dressed, drove to a church by myself and couldn't wait to hear the sermon <laughs> because I really like this minister a lot and he speaks in ways that that I understand and that I know that he understands me like he can really reach me so I was like I just couldn't wait to find out what it was going to be about and it was about a lot of the message was about fasting you know uh, uh, was something I always thought was stupid why would you fast why would God want you to just do without you know how ridiculous but yeah, I've been looking for him everywhere, and I can't seem to find him lately. Maybe you do have to sacrifice to bring him around. Who knows? It kind of makes sense, logically, that you would if you're looking for a great deity and you're kind of pissed off that he won't pay any attention to you because you're so surrounded by his enemy that, you know, maybe you got to show him that you're not just desperate and in despair, but willing to do whatever it takes. So in my case, I can't fast from food because I sell my plasma just to get gas and I need to eat to sell plasma. And besides food is really, it's, it's not the same for me. Like for other people or people in the past, fasting you know, with food would be important because that, that was a real sacrifice. For me, it's not that much of a sacrifice. I love food, but I can do without, you know, I, I couldn't do without other things like coffee or, cigarettes stuff like that like that would be a serious fast for me and since I don't really feel up for that one right now either I'm gonna go to friends this week and I'm going to fast from all of the bad influences that surround me I've already blocked them from my page and not even so that they can't look at my page but just so I can't look at theirs I just I just don't want anything to do with certain people anymore and um, you know I have to set up things to keep myself away from them and I think that once I make that a habit I'm gonna be able to to be okay at least where they're concerned so anyway I listened to the minister today I heard him I really like him I really like all of them and I feel better just knowing that I have a family a family that can help me when I do stuff like drop my hot coffee all over my thing maybe they don't know what they're in for but anyway I do feel like I have a family, a family, a real family, and that's a really good feeling. So I just happened to find them at Destiny Church. You guys are my density.